Hello everybody, this is Schwan again with the next video in the TragicService.com series and how to manage your server. And today, we're talking about the server control panel. We've touched on it a little bit before, but now we're going to go a bit deeper and see what all kinds of functionality it has and how you can use it. So we're going to go to TragicService.com and if you're logged in, you'll see server CP. If you click on that, you will see the server control panel and right now you'll be on the status tab and we'll just go through this top and bottom so the status tab tells you a couple main things it tells you what your IP for your server is it tells you what map your server is on how many slots you have and that's pretty much it and what the name is stuff like that just basic information now if you go to easy setup this is where you can edit the name of your server the archon of your server uh, the password to your server um, I wouldn't touch the map cycle if you're using a competitive server. There's really no need to do that. Um, and you can manage your Source TV settings. So, and you, the only thing you really want to do here is just make sure that the delay is like 120 seconds or so, and that this option right here, delay map changes until the whole game is broadcast. You want to make sure that is checked. That is something that you need to check so that if there's people watching your STV for whatever reason the game won't end for them on STV, even if the game ends um, while the players are playing. Like, this is a problem that ESCA has had at many different lands, where people will be shoutcasting, and then all of a sudden the map will cut off. If you make this checked, that won't happen on your server. So, the next tab is Auto Installers, which we won't get into now, but we will get into it in a later video when we go into installing different kind of mods that you can put on your server. Now moving on from there, we have our server control, and there is definitely one thing I want to talk about from here. You can restart your server from here. This is where you restart. See, so we go to server control, restart the server, and then do it, and your server will restart. And up here, your server is up, and if we said, okay, stop the server, it would say your server is stopped. Now this, the other cool thing on this page is show Archon tool. So if we click that, you will see um, the console for your server right through this web page so let's say that you didn't want to um, let's say you didn't want to launch TF2 but you wanted to check something with your server or change the map but you weren't on the server you could do a command through this tool on the web and not ever have to launch TF2 so if we wanted to change the map to granary we would do change level CP underscore granary and then we would send that command and it would say no response, but, you know, it always does that for some reason, and then it responds. And if we go back to status, you will see that we just got to wait for it to update, and here it is. The server is on Granary now, and you'll see that right there. It was on Badlands before. So that's something really cool that can happen with the server control panel. Um, another thing to note is we'll be going more in-depth on, on this console here, because we'll be in the future in another video we'll be talking about you know, how to kick people, how to exec configs, and basic Archon commands for your server, and we'll do it through this window. So keep note of this. Another video is coming that will go more in depth on this subject. All right, so the next thing we want to talk about is the file manager. We've touched on this in the FTP video, because right here is where we get our FTP information, obviously, but there's one other feature I want to talk about here, and that is the text editor. So sometimes... Maybe if you don't want to launch FileZilla, you can edit, you know, a text or a CFG file from this drop-down menu. Um, I personally don't use this, but you never know. You could use it. So let's say you wanted to um, edit a, you know, some kind of config. You'll, like, if you keep scrolling down, you'll see the folder structure of whatever file you're looking at. So if we scroll down, we'll see that, all right, well, CFG slash server dot config. Okay, like, we, we can click on that, and then we can, from there, we can edit it. We can delete it, rename it, move it, copy, and download it. So if you just wanted to download it, you could do it for, through this website, our control panel. And if you wanted to edit, edit it, you could just you know keep it on edit, press submit, and then right inside this web page, you can edit the config without ever having to launch your FTP client. Now remember, you can't upload maps like this. You can only edit text files, and you can't actually make any new ones either. So it's it's a good tool if you want to. You know, if you're in a pinch and you want to make sure that one of your files is correct, but it's not really as functional as, say, you know, an, a proper FTP client. All right, so we saved it, and we'll go back, and we're all good. And that's it, really. That 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 is all the functionality that you'll get out of your control panel. And make sure that you stay tuned, because the next video, we're going to go through 
what kind of good Archon commands and ways to check up on your server you can use through the server control panel and this Archon tool. All right, so thank you for watching. I'm Schwan, and I'm out.